applications of options theory applications of options theory to uh, corporate finance okay applications of options theory to corporate finance uh, so this is the topic and uh, in order to understand this topic you need to be familiar with the terms used in options derivatives okay like for example uh, long short call put uh, then strike price uh, spot price you should be familiar with all these terminologies if not then i have uh, given some links in the description box please go to that link and watch those videos and then come back here because only then you will be able to understand so you need to be familiar with these terminologies and uh, you know if you are still continuing to watch i am assuming you are familiar with these terminologies okay now this topic is all about connecting these terminologies to corporate finance okay so corporate finance is about the structure of your company so how the structure of your company uh, the value of your company and its debt can be compared with options theory that's what uh, this video is all about let's learn this with an with an example like imagine there is a company you know whose value is let's say 1000 and there is a debt also within the company which is 400 so debt and value are mentioned here okay so this debt and value how can we compare with options theory that's what we are going to see uh, the takeaway point let me just mention over here it will be easier then is you know equity holders perspective equity holders perspective the payoff will be it will be as if like they are long on uh, as if like they are long on uh, call options okay they are long on call option that's how the payoff will be and for the debt holders so we'll be seeing from both the angles equity holders and debt holders so for the debt holder it will be like you know as if like they are long on uh, risk free risk free zero coupon bond okay risk free zero coupon bond so i'm comparing this zero coupon bond with this debt so they are going to receive this zero coupon bond and they are short on uh, short on put options okay so this is the position position they are going to uh, take this is the position they are going to take okay now uh, so this 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 will be one of the takeaway point okay so now let's just you know derive all these things okay so now moving ahead let's say let's say uh, options perspective let's say there is a strike price of 400 this 400 I'm con this is the debt for the company and for the option we will think this as the strike price and this hundred sorry thousand is the value of your company and for the option I will think this as the spot price okay spot price and equity holders are playing holders role okay equity holders are playing holders role so now on the right hand side there is writer but now we are focusing on the holder holders perspective how does this work out because that's what i have mentioned here they are long on call option so long on call option means what equity holders are the holders so how the payoff will happen so how the payoff will happen here is in this case when it is in the money that means the value is higher than the debt or the spot price is higher than the debt so in this case the payoff will be 600 the payoff will be 600 okay see i'm not calculating the profit and loss over here so i'm not thinking about you know what the premium uh, you know holder has paid to the writer i'm not getting into all those uh, all those net gain and loss all i'm all, all i'm doing is the payoff uh, the payoff at time t okay the payoff at time t so that's what i'm seeing so the payoff at time t will be uh, 600 here okay so i can write this as you know when the value value at time t is greater than d the payoff is going to be payoff is going to be 600 that means uh, that means v at time t minus d okay so this is you can say when it is in the money when it is in the money 
Now similarly, when it is out of the money, then how will it happen? So holder, writer, same call option. Call option, 400 is the strike price. And uh, I'm considering that as the debt. And now this is out of the money. That means the value of the company is lower because holder expects the price to go up here. Okay, and writer expects the price to come down. So here the value, so this is the spot price and this I'm considering as the value. Now when the value is only 100, the equity holder, holder is what? Equity holder. Okay, holder and equity holder are same over here. See holder and equity holder. So holder is not going to get any, you know, payoff over here because he wanted the price to go up, but it has come down. So there is no payoff over here. So when it is out of the money, his payoff is going to be zero. Okay, his, his payoff is going to be zero. So either he will get zero or he will get this much of money. Maximum he will get this or, or he will get this zero. Okay, so let me just properly summarize the payoff uh, for the equity holders. So equity holders equity holders payoff is going to be maximum of zero or v you know value at time t minus d that means thousand minus four hundred okay so six hundred if it is something like in the money and otherwise this is zero okay otherwise it will be zero yeah so this is the first part we have derived now the second part is uh, put holders perspective this is a little tricky you will have to pay more attention so put holders perspective or debt holders perspective so debt holders payoff will be so he will be as if like he is taking a long position long on risk free risk free zero coupon bond that means sure shot he is going to get uh, uh, you know this zero coupon bond amount so zero coupon bond amount i am considering as the debt 400 is going to get for sure okay so 400 and short on and short on uh, put options short on put options so let's see uh, how it works then okay short on put options so first of all long on zero coupon bond so let's say long on zero coupon bond that means he is going to get 400 400 positive he is going to get 400 then coming to put options perspective put options perspective there is a holder there is a writer and uh, and you know our debt holder is going to short put options that means he is over here okay so let's see how it plays out 400 is the strike price which is the value uh, sorry which is the debt of the company and thousand is the spot price which is the value so in this case how the payoff will happen so now you see for the put option put option wanted the price to go down it has gone up so so this is uh, worthless for the holder for the holder of the put option so for the writer uh, there is no payoff at the end here so there is no payoff over here for for the put option and in the uh, and for the long zero coupon bond he will get 100 so net 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 what happens net net he gets you know 400 so that means when the value is high now you think uh, you know like corporate finance perspective value value is high you know that is 4000 and debt is only 400 so obviously then debt holders will get all this 400 okay so that's what they are getting over here okay now suppose what if the value is lower let's see that as well so let's see first corporate finance perspective here see value is let's say that is 400 and value is only 100 then what will happen value is only 100 so in that case debt holders will get only 100 okay the company is insolvent and the debt holders will get 100 only 
now let me prove this using uh, options okay so as i said you know debt holders are long on long on uh, uh, risk free zero coupon bond risk free zero coupon bond that means they are going to get plus 400 here for sure and then as far as put option is concerned concerned let's see holder and writer and we know you know uh, you know that you know we are playing writer's role over here right because the debt holders are short on put options i told debt holders are short on put options okay so short on put options 400 is the debt and as well as strike as well so this is strike and the value of the company is only 100 so this is the value and i can also call this as the spot price so in this case what will happen so in this case the holder perspective he wants the price to come down and it has come down so his payoff will be 300 when his payoff will be 300 then 300 is the uh, you know 300 he is going to pay writer will pay 300 here writer will pay 300 but however the writer also got 400 over here so net net his payoff is going to be net net it is plus 100 in other words he has lost 300 out of 400 okay out of 400 he is receiving 100 and he is losing uh, 300 he is losing 300 so which i can you know say as effectively effectively debt holders debt holders pay effectively because he is losing 300 right so effectively debt holders pay d minus vt okay on short put options on short put Okay, D minus uh, VT, how D is 400 minus 100 is the value. So, effectively, they are losing 300. Okay, so either this will happen or, you know, they will get all 400. All 400, okay. Yeah, all 400 or, you know, they are losing 300. Okay, losing 300. So, let me again... Uh, properly write this so debt holders pay off debt holders uh, pay off is going to be debt holders pay off will be uh, minimum of you know uh, vt comma d so vt as in you know they will they will pay 100 you know, like this case i mean they will they will yeah they will uh, uh, receive 100 sorry they will receive 100 or they will they will receive entire 400 okay they will receive entire 400 right so this this is um, uh, they will they will receive 100 and they will uh, that means they are losing 300 in other words okay they are losing 300 but let me write like this this is what the payoff is that means what they are receiving 100 or 400 this is the payoff for debt holders fine so yeah i hope uh, you know this is clear now uh, thank you so much um, for uh, watching it in case you still have doubt just you know the second part that is put options you need to watch once again but however after that it should be uh, fine thank you so much for your time